everyone, welcome back to Monique's 30 minute interval weight loss program exercise videos. As you know by the um, posts we put up earlier, we're changing our times. We can do Thursday nights and Sunday mornings now. Works a bit better with my schedule, but that's okay because I still want to give you guys some fun exercise videos. As you can see in the description today, we have a beginner's lower body resistance band exercise session. So what that means is I have a little resistance band here. If you don't have resistance bands, you can still do this exercise. Um, this session, just do it without it or just hold a weight or whatever you want. You can do it without it really. Um, but they, these little things come in various in, uh, resistances. They, they're different thickness, different um, widths as well. And also it allows you to make the exercise more difficult if you have a harder resistance band. So I've got something light right now. Some of them are plasticky. You can see this one's plasticky. Others have a material. It doesn't matter which one you use. One of them is usually a booty band. This might give you a bit more range if it's a plastic one. But again, I don't need you guys to go out and buy equipment. You can just do it without anything. I just wanted to spice up a little bit in case you do have some of these. Anyway, what we're going to do is I'll have our three minute warm up and cool down as we usually do. We've got five exercises, which we're going to do for four rounds. We've got, I'm going to describe them first and go through them all and then we'll start everything. Sounds good. We're going to do 35 seconds on, 30 seconds off, which should be fine. That's why it's beginner, enough rest, enough work, so we're not too tired. Okay, the first thing we're going to do, the first three exercises actually, are lying down. So if you have a floor, a carpet, a mat, I'm just going to do it on the plain floor, so that's okay. The first thing we're going to do is a lying hip flexion. So if you get the resistance band, put it above your knees, like so, sitting above your knees. We're going to be lying down on your back. Keep your knees bent. And I'm just going to be simply bringing my knee up to my chest and then bringing it back down to my chest and straight down. Bend it and straight. So we're working the little hip flexors in there, right deep in your hips, front of your hips and straight, bend and straight. Hopefully that makes sense. You can do it two legs, but then it becomes more of an ab exercise that way. So just do it one leg at a time and really focus on that drive upwards. All right. Now, the next two are the same exercise. They're just one sort of one side and the other side. If you lie uh, on your side, literally you're side lying right now, and move the resistance band down to your ankles. Okay, so it's on my ankles right now, and I'm lying on the side. What I'm going to do is bring my leg up to the sky. That's all. Obviously, if I go down, it's going to get all loose. So just make sure it starts where it's tight, and then go up as high as you can. So we're working our hips this time. Obviously, it's all lower body stuff. And we'll do the whole 30 seconds on one side, and then flip and do the same thing on the other side. Really simple. The trick is not to go backwards or forwards, try and go directly up to the, to the roof. And if you want to, keep your toes, keep your feet at like a 90 degree angle. So toes pointing directly in front of you and come down like that. Okay, don't point your toes. Now we're going to get up, up off the ground. Woo. Bring the resistance band again above your knees. Just there, just above your knees, and we're going to do just normal squats. If you can't do normal squats or you can't get very low, I recommend doing it with a chair or something and just go from a sit to a stand. That's completely fine as well. Or for the rest of us, have your legs nice and wide apart and just going to squat as low as you can. This is going to force us to use our glutes to keep our legs apart. We don't want any caving in, we want to keep it apart as we go down. All right, easy. And then we're going to do crab walks, which we've done before, which is, you know, these ones when you walk into the side, but we're going to actually walk in a square. So we've got forward, side, backwards, other side, we've got everything. So if you test stand with your legs nice and wide apart, same position, you're going to take a step forward, one, two, step to the side, one, two, and back, and out. And so you're making a nice square shape in front of you so we get all different angles and that's it 
So that's our five exercises. Let's get straight into our warm up. Take, I'm gonna take this off. Start with you guys without the resistance band. Just do some nice warm ups. Let's go for three minutes. Nope, okay. Beep. Yeah, okay. Now it's cracking. Let's do some lower body leg swings. So we're going to go near a wall if you have a wall near you. I'm gonna have the wall to my right. Hold it, I have, pretend I don't have a wall and I have one. I'm gonna balance. And we're gonna swing our left leg forwards and backwards. Make sure you're keeping up nice and straight. Try not to arch and swing your trunk, just your legs. Even if you can't go very high, that's okay. We're just getting the blood flowing. If you can try and do this without the ball too, that's a really impressive. And switch to the other side. Hand on the wall, we're doing our right leg now. And kick up and down. Whoa, bear with me. Keep going. All right. And one more. All right, relax, shake it up a little bit. Let's do an exercise called open the gate. So I'm gonna bring one leg up. If you need a chair, something nearby, grab that. Leg up, out, and down. And switch leg up, out, and down. Like you're opening the gate. Up and around. Make it smooth. Up and around. Getting those hips warm. Do two more on each leg. Ooh, you might need some crack from me. All right, now do the opposite and we're closing the gate. So we're bringing it out and in, out and around. You might need to hold on for this one. Ooh, out and in. Oh. That's some arthritis. <laughs> but it's all right. And one more. Good, shake that up again. All right, let's get down. Have your legs nice and wide, and we're gonna get as low as you can. If you can put your elbows on your knees, that's a good, that's a good start. Because what we're going, or your hands on your knees, like this. What we're gonna do is try and twist this shoulder down. So you might feel it, like you're trying to push your leg out and bring that shoulder down to the ground. We're gonna twist and twist. This is opening up our hips and our back a little bit. Twist up, twist down. Obviously I'm going quite far down, that's okay. One more. Good, all right. Now grab your resistance bands, hop on the floor quickly. Remember it's above your knees. 30 seconds, I should start earlier. Okay, on your knees, I mean your knees on your back. What did I say? Lying on your back, knees bent, and you're bringing your knee up to your chest. Nice and light work. Oh, sorry, you bend, and then you straight. Touch. Bend, straight, back, bend. Nice controlled. See how my resistance band kind of rolls a little bit? That's okay. Just do two more on each leg. So I messed up. Okay, one last one. Good. Now wrapping it down on your feet. And you're gonna lie on your side. You can lie down, you can have a cushion. It's up to you wherever you're comfortable. Remember, we're doing this with 35. I have my hand here so that I kind of lean forward. I'm not going to fall backwards. Remember, your toes are going to be pointing in front of you. Feel it here, even down here a little bit. One, oh, rest. I'm gonna 
foot this way so you can see me on this side and even if you do that without weight like if you don't have a, i mean with weight but you have, don't have a resistance band that'll work too even with nothing you'll feel it you can hold it out there and like do little pulses like this that'll get you without a resistance band too all right five four three two one toes pointing in front of you We've got 10 seconds left. Oh, it gets harder on this side, that's for sure. Three, two, one. Ooh. Oh, okay, we're getting up now. <laughs> we're going to definitely do some hip stretches after this. resistance band above your knees we're just going to do our normal squats if you can't do the squats just do a sit to stand sitting on the couch standing back up ready nice legs nice and wide remember keep your knees out here we go i'm going pretty low but again you want to push your butt back lean forward and bend down like this doesn't matter how low you go Easy one. Now we're gonna do our crab walks in a square. If you're tight from what you we just did before, we do some stretches of the hip flexors up here. In there. Remember, so start with your legs together. Step out. Forward. Try and keep your legs apart the most for most of the time. Ready? Let's go. Forward, side, back. Try and get a rhythm of this. Try and stay low the whole time. And back. Side, together, forward. See how quickly that went? Boom, smash it out. Let me check that the camera is good. All right, cool. We're lying on the floor again. Keep the resistance band where it is above your knees. For round two. Yeah. All right, on your back. Knees bent. Oh. Chest. Straight back down. resistance band on your ankles. This one hurts me the most. Definitely these two are the harder ones. Or maybe I could call this an intermediate exercise session. That might be more relevant. There you go. Hopefully you can see me. You got five seconds rest.
guys pointed to the front of you, in front of you. Ten seconds left. Switching to the other side. That was kind of smooth. You got 12 seconds of rest. Five, four, three, two, one. Fifteen seconds left. Six, five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> okay, up we go. Putting this above your knees now. to do our normal squats or sit to stand. Ready, let's go! that together we're going to do crab walks in a square this will end round two we're halfway shake it off a little go deep in here don't worry we'll do some some stretches at the end for it so keep it low in the sun it's like a low squat and then you're walking around three two one Round two, keep this on your above your leg, your knees, laying down. Let's just rest here on the floor for a second. Here we go. Knee to chest. Oops, I'm doing all the same way. Go change over. Let me do about five. Leg. I know I'm tangled. Okay, 
I don't know, we've got 10 seconds. So just take your time with it. Side. Whoa, I'm gonna flop down. We've got 15 seconds of rest still. Just fall asleep. Hopefully. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Resistance band above your knees. Grass squats. Got ten seconds. Legs apart. Here we go. If you want weight for this, you can get weight as well. Anywhere you can hold weight in your hands as well. This is round number three, almost finished. Six, five, four, three, two, one more. Oh, that's, it. that's all right. Oh, keeping your crab walking them square. Just take your time, breathe, get some water if you need too quickly. Let me check if everything's okay. Yep, we're good. We're sweet. Grab box and square, last one, grab three. Five, four, three, two, one. Five, four, three, two, one. There you go, good job. One more round, keep staying with me now. I know it's getting tough, I know it's getting sore in there. That's what we want. Lie on your back, have a bit of a rest. Pump up for our last round, let's get excited.
just above your ankles. The last one, this is the worst one. Eee. See, I'm good with my right leg, but when I do my left leg, I can't do it. I can't do it, man. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ooh, switch to the other side. Whoa, that was kind of nice. Wow, I'll have a rest for a second. I can kind of like feel my legs being massaged on the floor because it's a, such a hard surface. So it's rolling it out. I definitely recommend using a foam roller or something if you have it just to kind of like roll out any sort of muscles on your legs, your back, things like that. Here we go. Happy again. Above your knees, getting ready for the squats, and then we'll stretch after. Don't worry. Eight seconds. Four, three, two, one. Six, five, four, three, two, and one more. Nice, there you go. You've got one more left. The crab walks in the square, and then we'll do a nice little stretching cool down. Might need to rotate your hips. Just keep the blood flowing as well. It's best not to just afterwards. Do these ones. All right, crab walk to the square in three, two, one. Out, forward, side, and back. Get a rhythm of it. Three, and four. One, two, three, and four. No, it's rolling. Oh, well, whatever. Two, three, and four. Almost done. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Take that resistance band off. Oh, love hate relationship with this one. Chuck it away to the side. Let's do some stretches. Let's hop on the floor and we'll do them. And be nice and comfy that way. So let's have one leg straight. I'll actually tell you what legs we're going to put. So left leg straight. Right leg bent. Grab that right leg, right foot, put it over the outside of that left leg. Then, with my left elbow, I'm going to put it on the outside of that knee. This is complicated, I know. Bear with me. Then we're going to push to your left, pushing my elbow to my left, twisting my head, do my right shoulder, over my right shoulder. 
Feel it all in your lower back, or up your whole back, to be honest. And if you push more and more and more, you feel that in your hips as well. So really twist. And slowly come back to the center. Do it the other way. Right leg straight, left leg bent. Left foot over the side. Right arm outside of the knee. I'm pushing my right arm to my right. And I'm looking over my left shoulder. And slowly come back to the center. I'm going to lie on my back. We're going at an angle. Lie on my back. My legs are bent. I'm going to put my right foot on top of my left knee. And then I'm going to put one hand, my right hand, through the triangle. My left hand on the outside of my leg and clasp them together. Now if I can pull my leg as close to my chest as possible, you'll really feel it in your hips twisting. Pull, pull, pull. This might just be enough just holding it in one spot. And slowly detach yourself. Do the other side. Left foot on top of the right thigh. Left hand in, right hand out. And hold. And release, good. Let's bring our feet together, do a butterfly stance. And try to push our knees down to the ground and lean forward. And release, let's do it one more time. Go down. And release, while the timer goes, just put your legs straight and try and touch your toes. That's the end of our session. Keep holding that stretch release and then like shake it up a bit and then let's go back down again. I hope you enjoyed that session today. I know it was quite a bit of a booty burner. I could have called it a booty burner, but we've got some quads and other lower body in there too. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Again, it's really good to invest in these little things because then it just makes your workouts a little bit harder. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you later.